guys welcome welcome back to the channel so i hope you guys can hear me we're gonna jump into a 48 hours i promised you guys i would today when i did your video it's a little bit late but we're gonna get right into the video i do have the mic on i just want to check if it's actually loud hold on a second mm. I think yeah it's fine it's fine you guys should be able to hear me because this mic is louder than all the rest of my mics I'm actually at my mom's house and you know different environment so that's what this is all about but we're gonna get started here and see what your energy is like for the next 48 a lot of you could be dealing with a Capricorn I'm also seeing Aries as coming out. Somebody with a horn, like some kind of horn. Um, an energy where there's a lot of stubbornness. You're dealing with someone that has a lot of stubbornness going on. It's like very hard for you to communicate or to talk to this person. This is what I'm feeling here. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's see what we have. Look at this. Aries energy just flipped out of the deck. Aries energy, guys. Very stubborn energy. Why am I feeling like this person wants to be in charge? That's what I'm feeling like this energy. Look at this. We have Leo. A lot of fire energy. Like this person is determined. Determined to be successful here. And I'm also feeling there's like a conflict, you know? A conflict going on with you and this person and this is why the strength card is coming up if you guys can't hear me i hope you can i just don't want to talk too loud so i hope this mic is picking up i don't want to go in the mic because before you guys were like you know that i was going in and out and it's loud and then it's not so i'm trying to be as consistent with the volume as possible but let's see what we have here for Scorpio 48. What is the energy for Scorpio's 48? We have fire sign again. We have determination. We have an energy that doesn't want to quit, you know? The way they're looking at this is like they don't want to quit. They want to come back and give some kind of stability in the next 48. I feel like this is something that you were worried about. Why am I getting like you were stressed out about this? Like some of you were stressed out about this energy, okay? And now finally it's working, like it's coming back. Like finally you're seeing like this balance in life, you know? This balance in your situation. And this person is like moving towards this on their own. Like, no matter what you did, like, this person, it wasn't going to, like, come back because you felt some kind of way about the situation. Like, this had to happen on their time. Hmm. I'm seeing a transformation. Yep. Some, like, a transformation within this person's energy because I feel like they have learned from whatever they need to learn from. I'm getting goosebumps, you guys. I'm getting goosebumps here. Like, I feel it. I feel this energy for you. So we have the Three of Swords. And why is this Aquarius energy trying to show itself? Way too much messages, right? But Aquarius is on the back. Some of you could be dealing with someone that is very free-spirited or like to just be free and just have fun. Someone that doesn't like to be turned, like controlled, okay? I feel like this person like to control their situation, okay? And if you are in a relationship with this person, I feel like they, want, they have this tendency to try to control you as well. But I feel like in the next 48, you're definitely trying to forgive in the next 48. Especially from an energy that, you know, you felt like wasn't balanced for some reason. 
in the past and now they're coming in and trying to balance something out this doesn't have to be love this could be just a connection that this person feels like they want to continue the relationship with you like want to continue to work on this like they are not ready to say goodbye to this they're not ready to see this relationship end you know i feel like like this person is trying to give back because i feel like in a, for some of you there was something that was loaned or you lend like this like i'm getting this energy like you gave this person something you know you gave this person a loan or maybe money for some of you and now it's like you're getting it back um you don't have to get it back from this person's energy but i feel like since you have the knight of um the knight of wands here is like they're coming towards you okay rushing towards you very quickly to share this with you to share this news with you and I feel like you're going to let this go. You know, you're not holding on to this, like whatever this was between you and this person. You're not holding on to this anymore. It's like you're you're letting go in the next 48. <clears throat> you're letting go of this energy in the next 48. Scorpio. Okay. Tell me more. I feel like there's going to be some kind of growth, you know, within this person, but it's taken a, a long while to get there. But again, I feel like this person is working on some kind of stability to make you feel like you can trust them. They do value your energy, you know? I feel like there's going to be a lot of good things happen happening to you in your life. And in the next 48, this person is just like, there's a lot of green here. There's a lot of like good feelings. There's a lot of abundance here. There's a lot of things that are going to be brought into your life. And this person is feeling connected to all of this. You know, they want to be a part of this. They don't want to waste any more time without your energy, you know? <sighs> For some of you, you could be holding on to a child or trying to have a child. I do see a child in your future if, you, if this is not already there in the physical. There is, this is something that you're, you're holding on to, you're trying to protect. Like some kind of feminine energy. Um, this could be men or women, it doesn't even matter. But obviously there is going to be something that you're going to create. The person that you're going to create this with, um, for some of you, is someone that is having issues you know, being stable. I don't know why this seems so close, y'all. <laughs> this camera. I just like looked at it. I'm like, ooh, this is a little bit too close to me. <laughs> but I just feel like <clears throat> you're on this path of success, okay? Of victory. Either way, this is what I'm hearing. And this person knows it and i feel like this energy doesn't want to be away from you any longer there was something going on that you don't trust this energy you know you have the ace of cups here in reverse as well there's a lot of delays when it comes to you and this person trying to be in each other's lives so i'm so loud then you have the hyphorant you definitely have Taurus energy. That's a, like a bull, <laughs> something with horns, and this is what I was getting: Aries, I was getting Capricorn, and now Taurus. Like very, very, very stubborn to the wall energy that you're dealing with. I am seeing some codependency too. Like someone is making decisions here, but it's not their true. Like it's not what they want to do, right? We have Virgo. So someone is making the wrong decision here. This is not what they want for themselves. This is what I'm seeing. This is not what they wanted. But it's a lot of codependency in the next 48. So Scorpio, I'm seeing like this was a burden for you. You know, you don't want to go through this anymore in the next 48. Like, you guys know that something is going to happen. You feel this energy. 
A lot of you are having some kind of anxiety as well. Because of this, of course, you're releasing energy. But I'm also feeling with the, the, the Ten of Wands here. It's like you, you packed your bag, you walked away. Right? From the situation. But, you know, Scorpio, just keep in mind that you could have made this decision codependently. Okay? But I'm seeing like if you're scared. You're scared, like you're living in fear. Be careful, you guys. And I, I know I brought this up um, in your last video to live in love or to remove the noise and make sure you, that you're making a decision based on love. Because, you know, I just finished, like I was preaching this all week and then I just got, like I was watching videos on YouTube and the same message came up in a video that we are here to live, we are here to make a decision between two things, love and fear. And a lot of the things that we are doing in life that we are so unhappy about, like for example, doing, you know, having a job that you're not comfortable with or being with someone that you don't want to be with because you have this fear of either struggling, starting over, you don't know what's happening or you don't know what's going to happen out there for you. But then, you know, if you live with love, like you're not living in fear because you're actually doing the things that you want to do. You're actually being with the person that you want to be with, knowing that they might not have everything, right? But you're still choosing to do that because you do love them, right? And I feel like this, not saying that you don't love this person because I'm seeing the Ace of Cups here. There's a form of a lot of love for this person, but there's a lot of fear here too. There's a lot of codependency. There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of healing that is being addressed here. And so I feel like there might be a decision that is going to be made based on this relationship that is a lot of fear, okay? A lot of fear. So, because I'm feeling like you're doing this in the hermit, like you know that this is not what you want to do, but there's this energy of doing it anyways and feeling like you are being pushed this way and maybe watched as well. Like you are trying to find a, a, an alone space, but it's very hard for you because there's a lot of people around you, watching you, and so you're making this decision in the Hermit in reverse. This is a huge mistake. This is what I'm hearing, like in Virgo, energy in reverse. Virgo is usually the wiser, um, and you're in reverse. So just imagine a Virgo in reverse is quite annoying, and you just want to get away from them, right? Oh God, as soon as they open their mouth, they're trying to teach you something, right? And you know better, okay? But they think that they know it all. So just imagine that energy, okay? Making just horrible decisions. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Queen of Cups. Oh, God, it's like I'm seeing all the love, like this person that is coming in in the next 48. It's not someone that is highly emotional. Like they're having a lot of problems, like expressing their true feelings towards you. This is what I'm seeing. But a lot of you are releasing a lot of energy, whether it is love, whether it is family situation, whether it's this, just all this um, burden on your back that you carry. You're like you're releasing it and you're ending, again, a lot of relationships based on fear. I think I'm not losing in my cards, but some fell right now, so I'm trying to make sure. Okay, so you have the two of swords, okay? You have the decision, wow, <clears throat> Libra energy, and you're releasing a lot of energy. So let me get two more for Scorpio, next 48, Scorpio, next 48, Ooh. wow, you have Cancer. Okay, you have the High Priestess, and you also have the Temperance, Sag Energy. But I'm also seeing your angels around you. On the back of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups. What a disappointment. That's what you're saying. You like really feel like this is a disappointment. Like this energy that is in your life is like a disappointment. That's what I'm feeling here. <laughs> It's like they wasted your time with all of this, you know, the success that you actually wanted from them. 
the success that you want to experience with this with this energy it's like they wasted your time and i'm feeling like even though the decision is codependent okay because i'm seeing like there's a lot of people putting things in your head and then you're making a decision based on that which you are okay the decision but the angels have been watching this whole thing so i'm seeing angels all around you in your reading okay and they're trying to protect you they're trying to guide you through this all okay you're making a decision okay you just want to be at peace you don't want to have any kind of you know burning bridges or anything like that i'm seeing like you're very quiet you're releasing a lot of energy a lot of lies that were told a lot of heartache a lot of going back within your mind a lot of doubts okay doubting yourself as well um because of this person's energy okay because of this person's energy but i'm definitely seeing that you're entwined with your spirituality i can't behold these cards you guys you are entwined or connected with your spirituality with the high priestess a lot of you are just listening to this like this inner thought even though i don't feel like the codependency is yours this is not your codependency it's this person's codependency they made a decision that was codependent because the way you're showing up here is really just like stable and patient and kind and just open and just silence and you're like entwined with your intuition and you're healing and you're at that point of healing you are trusting the process you are just dependent on the universe to actually lead you this is what i'm doing like you're releasing a lot of energy a lot of energy you don't want to have nothing to do with anymore this is what i'm seeing here Libra energy I'm seeing like you're just at peace even though it's like there's like oh my god this energy of this 11 11 energy that is in the nine of cups you know with a lot of love a lot of things that could have happened between you and this person and it doesn't have to be sexual you guys this could be family okay this could be um a best friend um someone that you wanted to have success with and when I'm bringing up a child, it's just for those who are in a relationship with this person because you're definitely protecting yours. You know, you're protecting yours. You're coming off as empress. And this person sees you as that. But the person that is around you is quite, they're, they're learning. They're not quite on your page, you know. But for some reason, you, you care about this person. You know, you want them to actually experience what you have, which they are, they don't have much. But you have so much more, you know. So much more connections than they do but you're realizing wow and then the justice in the back as well this person is not telling you the truth when it comes to the heartbreak or what really happened in the next 48 so it's kind of like they're getting this karmic energy they're getting this bad karmic energy because your angels have been watching and in judgment as well is being called so wow again you know i'm getting for major energies um virgo twice with the um empress and also with the hermit i'm also getting um taurus energy for those of you who are with a taurus i'm also getting libra okay and i saw libra twice twice because on the back of the deck we have the judgment the justice and we have the judgment here so libra twice is coming out very strongly and then we have Cancer and then we have Sag energy at the very end of your reading with this Temperance and this um, High Priestess energy. Very quiet energy, very secretive as well in the High Priestess. Like you're just waiting. <laughs> you're waiting to see what's happening here instead of trying to, you know, make any moves. This is what I'm feeling. But you are so like divinely connected to... A higher power and this is what i'm feeling like you're taking your time you're healing you're nurturing yourself you're being kind and you're waiting for that divine timing because that's what you're waiting for the right time um for the angels to actually lead you to tell you hey it's time to move it's time for you to do things you're trusting this process you know you're very very happy very free <laughs> look at you 
Wow, look at your hands, you know? A lot of you are meditating a lot as well. Taking this time to be at peace. You're at peace no matter what the situation is in the next 48. But this is what I see for you, Scorpio. I hope that you guys can hear me. I don't want to scream because people are sleeping. It's like 11 o'clock at night at my mom's house and being very naughty. So, yeah. <laughs> Love you guys and I will see you guys in your next one. Bye.